Hi, I'm Os Magnum, and this is a guide for protection paladin in Shadowlands. This guide is mainly intended for PvE, but it could also be helpful for PvP. We will cover rotation, defense, healing, auras, co-op, crowd control, mobility, taunting, talents, and PvP talents. Rotation. The Protection Paladin Rotation is based on priority groups. You will follow the following order most of the time. First group. The first group only contains Shield of the Rushos. Shield of the Rushos is your main defense ability. It deals 42.5% of attack power, holy damage, and increases your armor by 170% of your strength for 4.5 seconds. It requires three holy powers to be used. Note that the holy power system was introduced in the Shadowlands. In the previous expansions, Protection Paladins did not have to use it. Second group. In the second group, we have Consecration and Avenging Wrath. Consecration. Consecration creates an arrow of effect beneath you that deals 45% of attack power, holy damage over 12 seconds to enemies who enter the area. Only one consecration can be active at a time. You should aim to stand on your consecration 100% of the time. Besides the Aoi provided, consecration helps you in other ways. Your mastery ability, Divine Bulwark, reduces all damage taken while inside your consecration by 2.8%. Also, Hammer of the Rushes causes a wave of light that hits all targets within 8 yards for 8.7% of attack power holy damage if you are standing in your consecration. Avenging Wrath Avenging Wrath increases your damage, healing and critical strike chance by 20% for 20 seconds. Use it whenever it's off cooldown or save it for an special moment of high damage, or if you want extra holy power from judgment. If you only have one enemy and it's almost dead, and after that there won't be close enemies, don't waste it. Third group. This group contains judgment, Avengers Shield and Hammer of Wrath. Judgment. Judgment deals 112 0.5% of a spell power hold damage and increases the damage from your next holy power ability by 25%. It is your strongest single target damage ability. Use it if you have one or two targets for damage and to generate holy power for your Shield of the Rushes or War of Glory. Avenger Shield. Avenger Shield deal 52.42% of attack power holy damage, interrupting and silencing the non-player target for 3 seconds, and then jumping to 2 additional nearby enemies. Use it when you have 3 or more enemies, because in this case its overall damage will be greater than judgment. Use it for damage and to generate holy power for your Shield of the Rushes or War of Glory, since this ability hits nearby enemies be careful not to pull unwanted ones. Hammer of Wrath Hammer of Wrath strikes an enemy for 120% of attack power, holy damage. It's only usable against enemies that have less than 20% health, and it generates one holy power. This ability is even stronger than your judgment, so don't waste it. Use it whenever it procs. Notes if any of these abilities on group 3 procs, use it. Don't waste them. And finally, the fourth group. Here we have Bless Hammer and Hammer of the Rushes. Talent 15, Bless Hammer. Bless Hammer is a tier 15 talent that replaces Hammer of the Rushes. It deals 10% of attack power, AOE holy damage to enemies and reduces the next damage they deal to you by 30% of attack power. 
it generates one holy power. Note the blessed hammer is a filler for when judgment or avenging shield are in cooldown, because it's not as strong as those two. Also, it can be used out of combat to gain holy power for war of glory or shield of the righteous, depending on the situation. Hammer of the Righteous. Hammer of the Righteous deals 27% of attack power, physical damage. As mentioned before, while you are standing your consecration, Hammer of the Righteous also casts a wave of light that hits all target enemies within 8 yards for 8.7% of attack power, holy damage. It generates one holy power. Like Blessed Hammer, Hammer of the Righteous is a filler for when Judgment or Avenger Shield are in cooldown, because it's not as strong as those two. Defense As a protection paladin, your main goal is to don't get killed. So the following cooldowns are really important for your gameplay. Guardian of Ancient Kings Guardian of Ancient Kings reduces all damage you take by 50% for 8 seconds. It is good for macros since it is off the global cooldown. Use it before high damage intake periods or when shield or the rushes is down. Divine Shield Divine Shield grants immunity to all damage and harmful effects for 8 seconds. It cannot be used if you have forbidden. It causes forbidden for 30 seconds. Use it before high damage intake periods. If Guardian of Asian Kings is down or if you want to get rid of harmful effects. You lose aggro, so be careful when tanking. Blessing of Protection Blessing of Protection grants you or an ally immunity to physical damage and harmful effects for 10 seconds. It cannot be used on a target with forbidden, and it causes forbidden for 30 seconds. Use it for physical defense or to remove physical harmful effects. Ardent Defender Ardent Defender reduces all damage you take by 20% for 8 seconds. While Ardent Defender is active, the next attack that would otherwise kill you, instead it brings you to 20% of your maximum health. User if War of Glory and Lay of Hand are not available and you are about to die. It is easy to fit in a macro since it is off the global cooldown. Cleanse Toxins Cleanse Toxins cleanses a friend target removing all poison and disease effects. Bless of Freedom Blessing of Freedom blesses a party or rain member, granting immunity to movement impairing effects for 8 seconds. Healing You have the following healing spells at your disposal. Lay on Hands Lay on Hands heals you or an ally for an amount equal to your maximum health. It can now be used on a target with forbidden and it causes forbidden for 30 seconds. This is a powerful heal, but remember that it has a 10 minutes cooldown and it causes forbidden, so use it wisely. Flash of Light Flash of Light heals you or an ally for 168% of a spell power. War of Glory War of Glory is new in Shadowlands and it heals you or an ally. If cast on yourself, Healing increases by up to 250% based on your missing health. Healing increases by up to 250% based on your target's missing health. Use it when you are around 25% health. Since it uses 3 holy powers, you will be sacrificing Shield of the Rushers, so only use it when needed. Auras The Auras are back. We have Devotion, Retribution, and Crusader Aura. Devotion Aura. With Devotion Aura, all allies in 40 yards range will take 3% less damage. Take this Aura, unless there is more than one Paladin in your group, and this one is selected but one of them are ready. The objective is to take advantage of as many types of Auras as possible. It is advisable for Holy Paladins to take this Aura since it will greatly benefit their mastery. In this case, you will take another aura. Retribution Aura With Retribution Aura, when any party or raid member within 40 yards dies, 
you gain a Ranging Wrath for 8 seconds. Use this if there is already Paladin in your group with Devotion Aura active. Crusader Aura Crusader Aura increases Mounter speed by 20% for all party and rank members within 40 yards. This one is only good if everyone is mounted or if I am solo leveling. While leveling solo, the 3% defense will only help you, so the extra mobility may be worth it. Note that this will also increase your speed when using Divine Steed. Co-op Co-op abilities are the ones that help allies. Note that some of these abilities were already mentioned. We have co-op defense abilities such as Blessing of Sacrifice, Blessing of Protection, Blessing of Freedom, and Cleanse Toxins. Also, we have healing co-op like Flash of Light, Lay on Hand, and Word of Glory. In addition, we have a Resurrection Co-op named Redemption, which brings an ally back to life with 35% of max health and mana. It cannot be cast when in combat. And finally, we have auras such as Crusader and Devotion. Crowd Control Protection Paladins had the following crowd control abilities. Hammer of Justice Hammer of Justice stuns the target for 6 seconds. Rebuke interrupts spell casting and prevents any spell in the school from being cast for 4 seconds. Turn Evil Make an undead, aberration or demon target to flee for up to 40 seconds. Damage may break the effect. Only one target can be torn at a time. Avenger Shield is part of your rotation, but remember that it interrupts and silences the non-player target for 3 seconds. Mobility Divine Steed allows you to leave atop your charger for 3 seconds, increasing movement speed by 100%. You can use it indoors or in combat. Taunting Hand of Reckoning commands the attention of an enemy target, forcing them to attack you for 3 seconds. Talents In the tier 15 talent group we have Holy Shield, Redoubt and Bless Hammer. Holy Shield Holy Shield is a pass that increases your block chance by 15%. Also, you are able to block spells, and your successful blocks deal 9.83% of attack power, holy damage to your attacker. This talent is recommended for most situations. It gives you a solid 15% chance to block spells and block all non out attack. It is good for Mythic Plus, for survivability, and is a general choice for raiding. Redoubt Redoubt makes your chill of the righteous, increase your strength and stamina by 2% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 3. This talent is usually not recommended, since it is only good in unique situations. Bless Hammer Bless Hammer replaces Hammer of the Righteous. You throw a Bless Hammer that spirals outward, dealing 10% of attack power, holy damage to enemies, and reducing the next damage they deal to you by 30% of attack power. This one is more versatile than Holy Shield. It can be cast while moving. It helps Grand Crusader to get more Avenger Shields. It can be used to generate Holy Power, even if there are no enemies at range yet. Its debuff, reduced damage received, can be stacked on targets depending on their levels. It is good for Mythic Plus, for casting while moving and pulling enemies. It is occasionally used in raids. In the tier 25 talent group we have First Avenger, Crusader's Judgment and Moment of Glory. First Avenger is a passive that allows your Avenger shields to hit two additional targets and grants you an absorbed shield for 100% of all damage it deals. It is excellent for AOE damage situations where you have at least 5 enemies for extra damage and defense. 
adversary judgment is a process that adds two charges to judgment, and Grand Crusaders now also grants a charge of judgment. This is excellent for single target damage, good for increasing holy power generation so you can use them on Chill of the Righteous. Don't waste any judgment so you can take full advantage of this talent. This is the choice for rating. Moment of Glory resets the cooldown of Avenger Shield. Your next three Avenger Shield have no cooldown and deals 20% additional damage. It is good for AOE damage and to generate a lot of holy power. However, the other talents in this row do more for you in most situations. In the tier 30 talent group, we have Face of Justice, Repentance and Blinding Light. Fist of Justice is a passive word. Each holy power spent reduces the remaining cooldown on Hammer of Justice for 2 seconds. It has diminishing returns, so you cannot spam it. Take this talent if you want to use Hammer of Justice for stunning more often. You will be able to cast it even more often if you take tier 25 Crusader Judgment talent, because it gives you more judgment and you get more holy powers to spend. Repentance. Repentance is limited to one target. It forces an enemy target to meditate, incapacitating them for 60 seconds. It is usable against humanoids, demons, undead, dragon skin, and giants. This talent is good for CC, a selected target that is in a group, so you can attack it in one minute. Note that damage breaks effect, so stay at range. Also, high level mobs may not be affected by it. Blinding Light Blinding Light emits days in light in all directions, blinding enemies within 10 yards, causing them to wander disoriented for 6 seconds. Unholy power damage will break the disorient effect. It does not have diminishing returns, so you can cast it on top of any other CC that the enemy has. It is an excellent Aoi CC for interrupting. In the tier 35 talent group we have Unbreakable Spirit, Cavalier and Blessing of Spell Worthy. Unbreakable Spirit is a passive ability. It reduces the cooldown of your Divine Shield, Arden Defender and Lay of Hand by 30%. Take care if you don't need Blessing of Spell Worthy. If talent 50 final stance is taken, Unbreakable Spirit becomes even stronger. Cavalier Cavalier is a passive that adds two chargers to Divine Steel. Take it if you really need the extra mobility. This is sometimes used in raids. Blessing of Spell Warding Blessing of Spell Warding blesses you or an ally, granting immunity to my damage and harmful effects for 10 seconds. It cannot be used on target with forbiddance, and it causes forbiddance for 30 seconds. Take it if you need Blessing of Spell Warding instead of Blessing of Protection. This talent is really good in dungeons, and general use in raids to get immunity to magic damage, debuffs, or to remove them. Unlike Blessing of Protection, you don't lose aggro. In the tier 4 talent group we have Divine Purpose, Holy Avenger and Seraphim. Divine Purpose is a passive where Holy Power abilities have a 50% chance to make your next Holy Power ability free and deal 20% increased damage and healing. Also, if you get free Word of Glory, you may get this. This talent is sometimes used in raids. Holy Avenger Holy Avenger increases your Holy Power generation 3 times for 20 seconds. If you have talent 50, Sanctified Wrath, and you use Judgment during an Avenger Wrath, you get 6 Holy Power. With this talent you can have Shield of the Righteous on 100% by casting Shield of the Righteous back to back. However, you will waste Holy Power because Shield of the Righteous can only stack 3 times. You can only hit it 3 times back to back. This talent is a general choice 
for rating. Seraphine. With Seraphine, the light magnifies your power for 15 seconds, granting 8% haste, critical strike, versatility, and mastery. It is good for AOE damage, but it uses holy power that could have been used in Shield of the for survivability. This talent is good if you have it for specific situations like pulling group of enemies. The other two talents in this row offer better options for most cases. In the tier 45 talent group we have Hand of the Protector, Consecrated Ground and Judgment of Light. Hand of the Protector is a passive where War of Glory's healing is increased by the target's missing health on any target. The extra healing provided is not worth it for regular content. This talent is the general choice in raids. Consecrated Grounds Consecrated Grounds is a passive talent. With that, your consecration is 15% larger, and enemies within it have 50% reduced movement speed. This is the best choice for Mythic Plus because of the CC added to your consecration. Also, the increase of area covered by your consecration is great for a bit of mobility and standing inside of it. Judgment of Light Judgment of Light is a passive of judgment causes the next 25 successful attacks against the target to hit the attacker for 7% of spell power. This is the choice in this row for raiding because of the extra healing. In the tier 50 talent group we have Sanctified Wrath, Rush of Protector, and Final Stand. Sanctified Wrath is a passive that allows Avenging Wrath to last 25% longer and causes Judgment to generate one additional Holy Power. This is the best choice in the row in most situations, especially if you get the Talent 25 Crusader's Judgment. Rush of Protector. Rush of Protector is a passive talent where each Holy Power spent reduces the remaining cooldown on Avenging Wrath and Warden of Ancient Kings by one second. This talent is not the best choice for regular content. It is generally used in raids. Final Stand Final Stand is a passive word during Divine Shields or target within 15 yards are taunted. This is an excellent tanking cooldown. You can use Divine Shield without losing aggro. Also, unlike Hand of Reckoning, you have an Aoi Tau. This talent is sometimes used in raids. PvP Talents With War Mode PvP Talents, you can get weekly gear reward by collecting conquest points and, when you do war quests at max level, you get 10% more rewards if you are Horde or 30% if you are Alliance. You can use PvP Talents in open world. However, you can get attacked by enemy players. If you start getting ganked too often and your leveling experience start getting worse, you should turn it off for a bit. The PvE talents that I consider worth it for PvE are Unbounded Freedom, Steel of Glory, Warrior of Light, Shield of Virtue, and Hollow Ground. Unbounded Freedom is a passive that allows Blessing of Freedom to increase movement speed by 30%, and you gain Blessing of Freedoms when cast on a friendly target. Unbound Freedom also causes any Blessing of Freedom applied to yourself to be undispellable. A Seed of Glory is a passive where your Divine Steed lasts for an additional 2 seconds. While active, you become immune to movement and party defects, and you knock back enemies that you move through. Warrior of Light is a passive that increases the damage done by your Shield of the Rushes by 30%, but reduces some granted by 30%. Shield of Virtue, when activated, your next Avenger shields will interrupt and silence all enemies within 8 yards of the target. And Hollow Ground is a passive that makes your consecration clear and suppress all snare effects on allies within its area of effect. And that will do for this video. 
If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Stay Magnum and see you in the next one.